Get a load of this place. All right, Clementine. Where are you? Missing something.
Not enough room.
Huh. That's ominous. my ass. I'm here to save yours. Wow. I... You didn't have to do that. Well, you were pulled screaming into a giant crystal, so... I kinda did. Right. I guess I would have done the same. But how did you find me? To be honest, I'm not sure. But I think it has something to do with this. They risked their life to find me. You can trust them. I'm not me. What? What are you? The keeper. The keeper of what? The realm in which you now reside. All realms. All my mandate to protect. What is it talking this about? This is the labyrinth. A place between worlds, connecting the worlds. The Keeper protects all of them from the root. We got them out of Earth, but the others... There is little time. System failure is imminent. This segment... Where did you find it? I... killed something. And it kind of fell out. Interesting. A failsafe. Is that bad? That sounds bad. No. It's... good. The Index can be repaired. Three outcomes emerge. Where once, there was one. We could do it. We could end the route. More segments are required. The Anomaly will retrieve them. Wait, what about her? The tide must be stemmed. The utility must remain. The utility? You mean Clementine? Yes, Clementine. Corruption tears at the seams of this realm. Yet the doorways remain. Gateways to other realms. This key. Grant's passage. Find the segments and return them to me. Hey, Traveler. I hope it didn't cost you too much to find me. Well, I'm sorry anyway. You shouldn't have had to come after me. I'd have told you if I could. So, how's the ward? Is Bo okay? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like Bo. Well, if you see him again, tell him I'm fine. More than fine. I'm... at peace. <laughs> Not that that'll keep him from worrying. I do. For so long now, I felt lost. Especially on Earth. I felt like I was living someone else's life. I joined the Dreamer program with the promise of making a difference. A chance to do something that mattered. I thought I'd found it on Resum, but it didn't last. It wasn't real. But these powers, everything that's happened to me, it's all been leading me here. This is where I'm meant to be. This is where I'm needed. No. I mean, maybe? 
I don't know. It's complicated. There was a time I thought the ward would never be home again. It still isn't. Though, that doesn't mean it won't ever be. But I'm needed here now. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. I can't go back, Traveler. Not right now. <laughs> no. Not that I've bothered to look. That old man's got his own journey. Same as me. Uh, nothing that'll make sense, probably. The labyrinth isn't what it looks like. But it also is? Ugh, let me try again. Most of this place is... like thought and energy. There's so much more to it than what your senses see. I only know that because of my bond with the Keeper. I mostly feel the labyrinth. Like a heartbeat. Or... or sunlight. And like both of those things, it's connected to... everything. It is... like, more complicated than I think my brain can even handle. Try asking the Keeper about it. Their answers might not make much more sense than mine, but... At least they know what they're talking about. Yeah. Good luck, Traveler. And hey, if you see the ward again, tell Bo... Tell everyone that I'm okay. They don't need to worry about me. Its task is incomplete. Does the anomaly require clarification? The seat of all worlds. First the core, then the labyrinth, then all worlds that are, were, or shall be. The core has been purged of corruption, yet corruption remains. All must be purged. The labyrinth must hold fast, must be last to fall. Little it has not been said, their origin is unclear, their existence Unexpected, yet ideal. A failsafe in the event of utter collapse. The segments repair the index. The index purges the corruption. New outcomes emerge. The anomaly's involvement has altered probabilities. Alter them further. Find the remaining segments. The Creator. The Creator. Obscured. The Creator is the Creator. The first was extracted from an entity of great power. Logic dictates. The others are dissembled within the same. Search the worlds. Seek out other powerful entities. Extract the segments within them. Hesitancy irrational. Either the anomaly erases one life, or the root erases all. There are no other outcomes. Short-term outcomes are likewise simplistic. For the entities in question, erase lives as well. Erasure is unavoidable. Entropy deliberate. This one seeks to maintain the cycle. Unknown. The intersection of worlds with surviving entities of sufficient power, and worlds for which corruption has not made them untraversable. The intersection is small. Start with one, and search another. The labyrinth is the connection of all things. It is the seat of the worlds, built upon the core, and all worlds are built upon it. Kidnap, Miss Miller. The utility was required. The utility has been acquired. The utility consents and remains. Clementine bears the nature of both core and guardians. The utility understands what is needed. She understands the keeper. I can no longer maintain stability on my own. The utility is a necessary resource. Necessary but insufficient. The segments are required. Entity Clementine was key to stabilizing the system to preserve the worlds. I am 
the Keeper. I was the first to rise. I will be the last to fall. I have provided the maximum help that I can. All endeavors will fail if I do any more. You are the resource now. Find the segments and return. Hey, uh, I, I know you're busy, Traveler, but folks are getting real worried. Do you... can you tell me what happened in the old ward? <sighs> I knew the Founder was up to something. I mean, who else wants to visit the old ward, huh? Look, uh, I'm sorry you got involved in this, Traveler. So, uh, then what happened? Wait, what? Clementine? Where is she? Is she okay? The what? That doesn't sound okay. Do you have any idea what's out there? Th this is the World Stone we're talking about. Oh, we've got to get a rescue party together. We have to make sure she gets back safe. Right, right. I, I forgot that you... Sorry, I, I'm just... You really think she's okay? Wow. Oh, all right, I guess I... I guess I just have to accept that. Well, if you see her again, tell her that I... I'm, uh... Tell her that the, uh, the town isn't the same without her. So, uh... Welcome back, then, I guess. Anything I can help you with? Good luck. as you want cuz I got plenty well sure been cooking all day getting the flavors just right be sure to come back for some stew back again huh here to chat <laughs> I hope this old mutter might have an answer or two for you <laughs> stop me if I told you this one already did I tell you I once sailed across that ocean to that old rusted tower? It was after that 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 wanderer came through here and cleared out the storm. Old mud tooth crazy, you know, but I I ain't stupid. I tell you, I saw things down there that you ain't never seen in your life. Down there in that rusted place was just machinery and root roots twisting every which way, like the root themselves had built it. But they didn't. No, that old place was called Ward 10 and 7. You can see it plastered all over. 
and it was built by humans. Mm. By the folks Ford himself used to serve, if you can believe that. Oh, he'll deny it, I'm sure. But all them electronicals they got down there are the same damn things you'll find in old Ward 10 and 3. In that place, I know he found it. He's the founder, after all. What were they up to down there? Now that's the question. I heard some answers myself, but I don't know if I believe them. <laughs> I dare's a story for another time. <laughs> Stop me if I told you this one already. I do miss the days when you could find the stuff the old world used to make. Canned foods, spiced chocolates, electronical music boxes. Oh, found this old can of what's it once. As in, we literally did not know what was in it. The can weren't open, but the label had long rubbed off. Finding that was like all our birthdays at the same time. That can must have been a hundred years old, banged up and bloated. Could have been anything in there. So, my boys did what any good family would do. They dared me to drink it! Well, I ain't one to back down from something stupid. So, I grabbed the can and said, uh, I said, uh... Ugh. Hey, watch it! So, uh, now... Uh, well, I ain't one to back down from something stupid. So, I grabbed the can and said something sensually flattering about their mamas. Then, I popped the top. Damn stuff hissed and fizzled like some kind of brown sludge demon. Smelled like one, too. <laughs> I chugged the whole damn thing. The thick goop tasted like scented sewer water. Burned my brain like a chili pepper. <laughs> I nearly puked with each swallow. But I weren't gonna give them the satisfaction. When I threw the can aside, the boys cheered. I opened my mouth. Flashed them a smug smile, and my teeth was all stained the darkest mud brown he ever seen. Yeah, they stayed that way for at least a month. And that's where I got my name. <laughs> Stop me if I told you this one already. I ever tell you how the world fell in the first place? Well... Sit down, friend, cause there ain't no one knows what really happened but me. It started in them wards, see? Secret military industrial complexes and whatnot. That's where they made all their weapons and did their experiments. Now, the root weren't meant to reproduce, see? They was built as a weapon, but then they done breeded and got out. Well, we all know what happened after that. Only reason the roots stopped was because the Wanderer, well, he flamethrower sized their queen, see? Over in that tower on the atoll, so they couldn't breed no more. Now, listen. You might hear Ford tell you something different, but you look at the two of us and ask which has obviously been around longer. Which of us is most like to have been there, huh? You ask yourself that, and then you just look my way, because that's who it is. Let me see here. Ah, you met my boy Brabus yet? He's a handful, that one. Always has been. Got into a scrap when he was five, he did. Knocked down a boy had to be, uh, twice his age. And three to six times his height, at least. Well, that boy's pa didn't take it none too well. And this pa, phew, like a pair of fists with leg bones. That boy's pa wanted to take some skin out of me for it. Now, I ain't proud of what I did next, but oh my kidding, I wouldn't be telling you if I weren't proud, now would I? 
But, like I taught Brabus, say as I do, do as I say. And anyways, I couldn't back down from a fight. Not in front of the crazy eight. Come to think of it, that's probably how Brabus got the way he is. Hm. Anyway, I fight the man. He could have crushed my head between market and roast beef, but I aim to win, not fight fair. I pointed at nothing at all behind him, then smooshed a scoop of mud straight into his mouth. <laughs> then, while he was a spitting and a sputtering, I hit him hard. So hard that when he fell, my muddy hand came away with three of his teeth in it. And that, friend, is the true story. Uh, how I got the name Matu. You'll like this one. You ever wonder what the world was like before the Deadwood came? Well, pull up a chair, young'un. The world was filled with people. I'm talking millions, maybe even bazillions. Why, you couldn't sneeze without snotting someone in the face. Now, these folks weren't like us nowadays. They had so much food that they would eat for fun. They'd get together to eat the extra meat. They had spare ribs, called it a barbecue. They were immune to all kinds of diseases. And every one of them, every one, had a puppy. Huh. And that dare world was run by, a. Uh, let's see here, uh... Uh, I'm telling you, that weren't no horse. Huh? Oh, right. Anyways, and the world was run by a, let's see here, what was it now? A presidential, yeah, that's it. On account of the, 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 the ceremonial wooden teeth. Whole damn world was ruled by the presidentials of the United Escapes, yes, sir. It was a better time then. Folks resolve their differences by coming together, listening to each other's problems, and trying to solve them together. Oh, I guess that's what young Bo's trying to do with this place, ain't he? He ain't done half bad so far, neither. I reckon you gotta go through the bad to get to the good again. It's always there waiting if you just keep on looking. Stop me if I told you this one already. So this wanderer comes up to visit me at my, my, my helio club, huh? and I remind that ain't a new family. Here, right, good listen, Tater friend. Tell you what, though, I'm a little light on the stories right now, but <laughs> you look like you could use yourself some company. I've got just the cure for that. And I ain't talking about my stew this time. <laughs> Take this and check back with me later. I'm sure I'll have some newly re-remembered stories for you then. Questions? I reckon I've got a few answers. You'll like this one. I ever saw but they do so this. This you are poo. <laughs> You, you, and that leap, so he, him. Oh, I like this. See, crazy. Her grip, the thing. I don't. You, look, thanks, boy. Ah, boy. See, they took me. Nah. Let's up. We but the rap, but when it was. Look. You'll lie. So we, yep, there, but I, ha, ha, and then. You'll like that. This with it. And with it, us is it. But you. Mm. I'll be seeing you then. Welcome back, traveler. Careful now. My answers are known to lead to more questions. Well, now, I appreciate a listener as good as any. But even old Mudtooth can't talk forever. Let me rest a spell. Let's see how I feel later. I'll be seeing you then.
can I do for you? Be safe out there. You're back. Come on, what you got? can I do for you? So long. whole other world? How many of these are there? Find these segments, huh? <laughs> well, Clementine and that talking ball of light hang out and meditate. Sure. That sounds fair.
for long and long. The past once takes me. Or is it now simply part of what I am? It has been so long. The difference hardly matters. But the Paxel attack, how comes it here to Yesha? slumber. The pestilence think of them often, especially the stones of the Baxotex earth. I am Bidel of the Vaunt. When this world was young, the pan did service to the green and growing things. Now, the pan betrays the world, and the world, the wolf, betrays the pan. Ravager, plague of the pan and defiler of the doe. The wolf hunts all, yet is itself unhunted. To the shame of all pan. Once part of the balance, the immortal Ravager has cast aside this world and pledged fealty to the pestilence that would destroy all worlds. And the red doe, that which held the Ravager in check for long and long, has not been seen in an age. If it seeks to save its own life and world, the Paxotec must hunt the Ravager and end it. The beast is not alone. The Lamia have given themselves to it in service. Once servants of the Eternal Empress, many Lamia have been seduced by the Ravager's blood-soaked tongue, and thus, Betrayed the ban. Beware, Baxutak. They will fight until the beast's final breath. <laughs> Money is of little use to me, for obvious reasons, but others may find value in what the Paxultec may leave behind. Take what it will, Paxultec, but leave something it considers of equal value. A sacrifice to the balance, and a gift to the balance. Make good use of it, even as the Paxultec's own gift echoes through the very sky. 